when you have a short session of meditation like this, you've got to get right to work. Find your spot and settle right there. And don't listen to any other voices of the mind say, well, you've got to do this first, you've got to do that first. You've got to cut those things away. Think of having a knife in your hand. Any thought that comes up, cut through it. Any pain comes up, cut through it with a knife. Anything that seems to connect away from the breath, cut through the connection. And try to maintain that thread, though, of being with the breath. That's the one thing you don't cut. Because it's our thread of mindfulness that allows us to stay with it one thing for a long time. So settle right here and then stay right here. Be as continuous as possible in your determination. You're going to stay right here with the breath. That way, even though it's a short session, you get a lot out of it. If there's a little peep of a thought in the mind, say, not right now. In five minutes you can do what you want, but right now, no thinking. Give the mind a chance to really rest, because it needs that opportunity. Not that thinking is bad, but it can wear you out. Even skillful thinking can wear out the mind. So it's got to rest. But resting in meditation is better than resting when you sleep, because you're actually strengthening qualities like mindfulness and alertness, which get totally abandoned when you're asleep. And this way, when you come out of the meditation, they've been exercised. And they're ready to do work for you, wherever, whatever work you've got to do. But right now you don't think about that work, you think about the work right here. And try to be as strict as you can with yourself, that this is where you're going to stay. And then even when the session is over, there's no real need that you have to leave here. Be with the breath, the sensation of the breath energy in the body, and see how long you can keep it going. It's when you push against the normal habits of the mind that you learn things. You don't know the force of a stream unless you put a dam across it and realize that deep under the surface there are going to be pretty strong currents. It may look placid on the top, but once you put the dam in, you realize, okay, there was a lot of force down there. And that way you learn. <laughs>